If you're new to Tarkov and you're looking to understand the game a little bit better, or overall just become a better player, then this is going to be the video for you. Today I'm going to be going over some of the resources that helped me a lot when I first got into this game, and honestly these resources helped me understand the game a lot quicker than I would have if I was just playing. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So the first resource I wanted to talk about is actually probably one of the best in my opinion for new players trying to learn the game and that's going to be Tarkov.dev. So I really like this website just because of the amount of stuff it offers for helping you learn the game. And I'm going to go over the two that I think are most relevant, starting off with the Maps tab. So going to the Maps tab here, if we open it up, we can actually see every map in the game here. And most of the maps actually have multiple. So like here using customs for an example, we can see that there is a 3D map and we can also see a 2D map. So whichever one you prefer, you can open and put on your second monitor while you're playing and it just helps out a lot. So getting more in depth with the maps here, using customs as an example, we can actually see a lot of information on your screen. So the most important and most relevant for newer players is gonna be all of the extracts. We can see scav extracts, we can see PMC extracts. So if you're, so if you don't know what you're doing, this map will actually help you a lot with finding the extracts. It also shows you all of these stashes by these cogs on the map. So if you're doing stash runs, having this map open again helps a lot. You can hit as many stashes as possible on your way to extract. And overall, just really helpful. It also has all the PMC spawns marked by the yellow arrows. So you can see where all of the PMC spawns are on the map, which is really helpful knowing where the direct danger is off of spawn. And lastly, it has the keys. This one isn't as important because it doesn't have every single key, but it has a few of them. So if you wanted to know like where some of the quest keys go, like unknown key goes for this right here. And then this portable bunkhouse key is right here. So, so it can help out a bit, but it's not the most important thing on this map. The next thing I want to talk about is actually the ammo tab. And this is a resource that can actually help even more experienced players as well but it is pretty helpful for newer players. So for example, here we're gonna go to 556 and right away you're gonna see a graph here. <coughs> There's a few resources that have uh, graphs that help you with ammo types, but I feel like this one is the easiest to understand for newer players, which is why I would recommend it. So just to show you what's going on on this graph, if you don't really understand and to give you an idea of how it works, uh, the highest penning ammo for 5.56 is going to be M995 and SSAP for the class 5 armor. So you can, so that's going to be like gazelles and corrent and stuff like that. And the highest flush damage is going to be Warmageddon here at the bottom. So it's not super in depth, but it does give you a basic understanding of which ammo is worth running and which ammo isn't. And it just overall helps newer players a lot, I feel like. The other cool thing about this website is it actually has a barter profits tab. So you can see all of the barters in the game and see how much they cost just by buying them up front. So for example, we have the thick items case here and we see it needs 50 moonshine, 50 vodka and 30 whiskey. And we can see how much it costs, it being 15 mil, and we can see how much each individual item costs all together. So like the whiskey, for example, is 1.4 mil. And it's not as relevant for brand new players, but it is helpful to know it exists and it will help intermediate players out or just anybody that wants to know more about barters. It's kind of the same idea with the hideout craft tab as well. It shows you all of the different crafts you can make in the hideout and shows you the profit that you get from them and how much you're gonna make, obviously. So for example, the top one here is the RFID reader from the Intel Center. And we can see here it's about 240K in the flea market and it needs the labs card, the VPX, and the signal jammer. And all of that together costs about 165K. So you're making about 44K profit once it's done crafting. So again, it's one of those things that probably isn't going to help brand new players, but it is helpful to know it's there for later on. As for the other tabs, I don't really think they're all that helpful, but overall this website is really good for brand new players as it will teach you a lot about the game. The next resource is going to be a must bookmark for literally any Tarkov player. Whether you're brand new at the game or you're experienced, you should have the Tarkov Wiki bookmarked on your browser just because you get so much information 
and honestly you're going to be coming to this website probably 10 times a day so as a new player here we can obviously see like these tabs there's so much information that you can learn and overall it's very helpful the main reason i use this website these days is to look up quests so for example here say i wanted to do the extortionist you can actually search for it on this website and it will bring you to the page for the quest and on this page we get all sorts of information such as the rewards how to do it the requirements and then most importantly at the bottom we have the guide for it so it shows you the key you need what you need to grab and then obviously where you need to go to do the quest so it's very very helpful and if you have any questions on how to do a quest the tarkov wiki will probably answer it for you so it's definitely the first place you should go if you're trying to do a quest. The other thing I use it for is for learning about items. So say for example, I wanted to see what you can do with a car battery. So once we're on the car battery page, you can see here in the contents, we're gonna have all sorts of information. The most important is gonna be at the top here. So at the top, we can see how much we need for a quest. In this case, we need four for a car repair and we can see how much we need for the hideout. So we can see here we need one for events level two and four for events level three, which is very, very helpful if you're trying to figure out if you should keep an item that you found or sell it. So these are the main two things I use the Tarkov Wiki for these days, and even just with those two things, it's very, very helpful. But like I said earlier, there's so much to learn on this website, and look, even if we go back to the main page here, um, we can see ballistics. So I kind of touched on this in the last website a little bit. So on this ballistics page, I kind of touched on this a little bit on the last website with the bullet chart, but this gets a lot more in depth with it. So we can see the effectiveness for penning here. And then obviously if we scroll down, we can see even more with all of the different rounds in the game. And I'll just use the same example I used in the last website, which is going to be the 556 ammo. Looking at this, it might be a little bit overwhelming for a newer player, but we can see the damage, the armor damage, the pen power, and all of that stuff that we saw on the other website. But if we go all the way to the right here, we can also see the effectiveness against armor, which you kind of have on the other website, but it's not as in depth as this. This kind of shows you more detailed about like how effective it is against the different classes of armor and it also has the other bullet stats such as the added recoil that a certain round will have or the decrease in accuracy or increase in accuracy so overall it's a little bit more in depth than the other website but if you'd rather use this one this is definitely a perfect option as well so the last resource I want to talk about is one that I actually use quite a bit throughout the wipe and that's going to be the Tarkov Tracker. So if you want a website that helps you track your quest progress or track your hideout progress or track what items you need to hold on to to progress in the game in your stash, then this website will be really, really good for you. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about. If you go to the quest tab here, you can sort the quest by traders as well. And what it will do is it will show you all of the quests that you need for the different traders. For Prapper, for example, we have Debut, which is his first quest, and a couple things here. One, it will show you the quest and show you how many quests are locked behind it, so you'll know if a quest is quest locking you or not. And most importantly, it will give you a link to the wiki page if you need help with the quest, which, as I talked about earlier, the Tarkov wiki, really, really good, and it will show you how to do the quest. I said earlier it helps you with hideout progress. This is kind of what I mean by that. You can go to the hideout tab and kind of keep track of what items you need to keep for the hideout for what different things. And then once you build it, you click build and then it will keep going like that until you're done the hideout. Really, really good for keeping track of the hideout if that's something you care about. And I'll just kind of click all of the level ones and you can see kind of different stuff popping up as you do it. So it helps you keep track of what you're doing in the hideout. And one last thing I almost forgot about, if you go to the settings tab here, you can see a tab here called team settings. And what you can do with this is just put your display name if you wanted to, I don't know, whatever you want. And then you can copy this link and share it with your friends. And what this allows you to do is kind of show your friends which quests you're on and what items you need and whatnot. 
I don't typically use it, but if you're playing with somebody else that's new to the game, I can see how this could be helpful if you both are using this website. And aside from that, that's kind of it with this website. It's pretty straightforward and its main use is going to be helping you keep track of your quests, which is what I use it for. So go ahead and use it if you want to keep track of your quests and that's kind of all there is for the Tarkov Tracker. And that's kind of it for my video today. I hope you guys found these websites useful and they helped you learn the game a little bit better. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of these websites and I'll see you guys in the next video.